All right, we're changing course. We're gonna jump into the interior design layout uh, and we're gonna go through fairly quickly on this one. Uh, the fascinating thing about the interior design layout is that it is a super simple little office. Uh, it's probably something you've done 50 times. Uh, it's not hard. Uh, it's a, you have to put some furniture, make a couple offices into a, uh, a larger office. Uh, it's very simple and straightforward. However, because you only have one hour for it, it's actually really hard. Um, by far, uh, the people who talk to me about this, who've had trouble with, with either of these, who've failed the schematic design, uh, everybody was always worried about the building design, but actually this is the one that trips them up. It's not uh, complicated. There's nothing particularly hard about it. It's something kind of thing you've done a million times before. It's just hard to do fast. Uh, and it's also not that many correct answers, and so you have to stumble onto the correct answer. So uh, the basic thing here is uh, you are making a very small office design, and it's really about did you uh, make room for all of the uh, accessibility rules? Um, did you answer all the, all the line items of the program, and did you make it uh, follow all the accessibility rules? And it's really best if uh, you just think of it as a little game because uh, it, it just doesn't, it's, it doesn't make sense otherwise. You have to move so fast through it that you have to just kind of think of it like, did I get the points for you know, getting all the program right? Uh, so again, uh, the basic thing here is you wanna, there's, this is, the program here is much, there's many fewer rooms. It's probably only gonna be five offices, maybe six, uh, but it's gonna be a lot of little detail pieces of information. So you wanna understand what the issues are, you're gonna figure out what your basic uh, plan is likely to be by using some quick sketching. Uh, you're then gonna go through the details and then you're gonna sort of follow through, draw it all out, and then you're gonna use the check to try to find everything at the last second to make sure you got it uh, all, all done right. Again, one thing at a time, keep it simple. Remember, it's a puzzle. So first thing, you're gonna start by taking a look at the, the drawing that's given to you. Um, I've, I've put a desk in I, uh, just so you can see the scale. Uh, the desk wouldn't be there already. Uh, this would be show. This is an example one where there's a connection to a corridor. The door is already shown. Uh, the walls that are the uh, demising walls of the office are shown. Uh, there's a couple of key pieces of information like those windows are there, and you get a sense of sort of the overall like how things are likely to be uh, sort of organized. So you're going to look at the plan. Uh, and then just like the schematic design, you're gonna go through and uh, you know, have your system for taking notes, go through the program, uh, and really uh, bang through it fast and have a good, clear system so you know how you're sort of pulling all that information together. So here's an example of a program. Uh, it has a few pieces of information uh, up at the top, which we'll talk about uh, sort of basic uh, aspects of this particular program. And then here's, uh, in this case, the fi uh, five rooms. Um, and then each room has a few sort of points about it, like uh, somebody needs to be able to have uh, visual control over the front door. Uh, maybe somebody's office needs to have a direct access to a conference room. You know, little pieces of information like that. But then the other key piece is that there's all of these like lists of furniture for each room, right? So all the furniture requirements for each room are shown. Right, and that's a lot of little pieces of information you gotta keep track of, uh, and it's a fairly tight space. So you're gonna have your system for how you kind of put all that information together. Right? You're gonna do that same thing. You're probably gonna have a matrix. You're gonna figure out how you're holding on to that information. Maybe it's a different way of doing it, but you're gonna have some way that you translate that information quickly for yourself. And then the code will not be particularly extensive, and it's mostly about accessibility, um, but there may be a few other issues. But the key pieces to take away are the idea of the 60-inch circle, the five-foot circle. Every room is gonna get a 60-inch circle. Uh, now, you don't actually draw that circle in. You just, there just needs to be space that you could draw that circle in. So my suggestion is every room, you draw it in in sketch mode, which means the computer isn't reading it, but you can see it. Um, so you're gonna put a 60-inch circle in every room. These are small offices. That 60-inch circle is a relatively easy thing to do, but that's still a big square space without any furniture or anything else in it. Um, so it can, it can get harder than it sounds. But even more important than that one, in my mind, is the space around the doors. 
So this is on a door on the push side of a door, so going through the door that way, I need to have a space that's 48 inches this way and then 12 inches past the uh, handle's edge of the door. So that's gonna be a 36 inch door plus the 12 inch, that's gonna be another 48 inches over that way. So I have a 48 by 48 inch box that nothing else can encroach into. And that's in order to allow somebody in a wheelchair to be able to pull up uh, and get to that door handle. On the pull side, so on this side, if I'm approaching this door from this side, I need to have actually 18 inches and 60 inches uh, of space for that to work. So that ends up being, this is a big box. Uh, and my suggestion is you do these in sketch mode, in that green sketch mode uh, rectangle, and you actually put them by every door that you put into the plan so that you can see as you start putting the furniture in, you make sure that you're not accidentally uh, getting a little too close. It's really easy when things start getting tight to suddenly have a, you know, a, chair or something, just, get, just go over that little bit of space.